Hey, July 23rd, 2021, Friday morning, 10.45. We are leaving Arcade, Georgia. And we are heading to White, Georgia, or between White and Canton, or Cartersville and Canton. We're going doggy sit tonight and tomorrow night. And we'll get some video on the way. I'll go up here and show y'all how to cut through from US 129, Georgia 15, from out be from between Arcade and Athens over to Georgia 53, north of Winder, so you can avoid the city and some traffic and enjoy some back roads at the same time so i'll turn it off now and then turn it back on here shortly okay again this is july the 23rd i'm looking at the temperature gauge now or the thermometer is 83 degrees we're headed south on 129 georgia 15. we're going to turn right at the golden not the golden pantry we're going to turn right at the uh Dollar General. If you're coming out of Athens, you will tell, turn left at the Dollar General. And here on 129 Georgia 15, anybody that travels this on a regular basis knows unless you want a ticket, you don't run over 60 miles an hour here. You've got Athens Clark, you've got the Georgia State Patrol, you've got Jackson County. You've got Arcade, and you have um, Jefferson Police. Uh, Winder is 14. I forgot to look and see what road this is. 332? I don't know. I should run my yap. But anyway, we are now headed south. We will turn before we get to Winder because we want to come out on the north side, north end of Winder without going through there for the traffic. Tallahassee, that is Tallahassee Road, take you right on over into Athens. And again, I'm having trouble with the horizon. This should be a nice little drive. The sun should not be bothering us once we break through this. Turn a little bit further north. Shows we're headed southwest right now. It's a pretty good haze in the air today. Like it has been for the last several days. I'm not sure about the humidity, but I know it's pretty high. Pretty high. This is the Middle Oconee River, and it flows into, I guess it flows into the Bear Lake Reservoir. It's pretty muddy right there. Unless Bear Creek Reservoir is its own creek and flows into the uh, middle of Tony. And I'm not sure about that. That might be the way it works. You know, thinking about it, that probably is. And if you turn left there, that'll take you up over the dam of the Bear Creek Reservoir. You know what? That's the way it's got to be because um, the Oconee River is back here to our back. And if we go up, turn left there and go up, we're going to uh, cross over the dam and the, and the reservoir will be to our right. So the reservoir must just be Bear Creek, and it's partly right here, and it's clear and pretty. So yeah, I, I always thought the Middle Oconee fed uh, Bear Creek Reservoir, but 
I'm pretty sure I'm completely wrong about that now. Some of my friends will have to check it out for me. Participate in the drive. Yes, that's green and pretty. If that was as muddy as the middle of county is, if the middle of county was feeding that, it would be muddy. There's a boat ramp right here. It's closed today. There's some new houses up here on the right. Some land for sale. Well, if y'all like these videos, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And even if you don't like them, please, please like, share, and subscribe. I need another 301 subscribers before I can go live. I have to have a thousand subscribers before I can go live. I'm going to try to make this drive all the way through without stopping. I've had trouble with both cameras, the, the GoPro Black 3 and this Osmo overheating and uh, cutting off. Um, I do have the air conditioning fixed on this 95 Jeep Grand Cherokee now. I, I fixed it on the 97. It just needed charging. I replaced the compressor on it several years ago, but uh, this one had been several years, five or six since the air had worked at all. So I replaced the compressor and the dryer element. And there was, there was no Freon in the system. I did not have to get it... Um, take it somewhere and have them uh, remove the Freon, or the, the R134. It was already empty, so I, I changed the dryer and the compressor around to have video of that if y'all are interested. Vacuumed it down, it held vacuum, so then I charged it up, and it is working right now. For how long? I don't know. We'll see. I will start rolling up the windows more, especially when it gets a little warmer. It'll make the road noise much less. Make it a lot easier to talk and for the video too. Well, so this is a nice drive. That looks like that used to be a little filling station. Days gone by. We are entering Barrow County. And I'm assuming we were in Jackson County. Pretty sure we were. We get up here to the four way and we'll see what road this is. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten houses right here. All of them look like they have sold and are just about. People moved in. Rural Georgia is disappearing in chunks, not little bites, huge chunks. Huge logistics centers all over the place. Boy, that's a nice crepe myrtle there. Nice old farmhouse there on the right. Oh, look at that dead tree. I like that. that it's dead but I like I like trees and dead trees are particularly interesting and pretty to me and I actually like the trees without their leaves better in the winter they have a, a distinct character about them their personality at 3:30 ends 82 goes straight into the right to the right will take you over to arcade and then to, then to Jefferson <laughs> so we were on 330. So this four-way stop sign we get it come up to 
to the right takes you over into either Bogart or Statham. I think it takes you into Statham. To the to the left, I mean, to the left takes you over into Bogart or Stadium, Statham One. Straight ahead, I think it's right into Winder through what used to be Struggleville. This is Georgia 211. It's got Winder to the right, but Winder's actually closer going straight ahead. The market there is one of my favorite little places to eat when I'm in this area. They have a very good breakfast, a very good lunch, a place to sit down and eat in there as well. sale. I don't know what it is. I don't know anything about motorcycles. I should have gotten gas already, but we'll stop and get gas. My plan is to um, show y'all a cut through from um, Chateau Elan over to Buford. And then go across Buford Dam Road, maybe can check out a couple of the parks. Go down to the dam maybe, we'll see what kind of time we've got. But all that could change. I was also wanting to take you by a barbecue place on 369. So we may, yeah, we don't, I don't know what we're gonna do yet, we'll see. If you ride around with me much, you know just because I've got a destination doesn't mean we're gonna end up there. It will, we will generally end up there, but we may not go the way I have planned. Or intended, at least. Beach Creek. There are a couple of things I've still got left to do on this Jeep. I've got to wire the trailer hitch. I've got an exhaust leak that I'm going to take to an exhaust shop. <coughs> These bolts are 26 years old. I'm sure they're going to shear off when they start trying to unscrew the nuts. And a shop will be equipped to drill the bolts back out or drill them out and put new bolts and nuts in. Highway 11. They're building a new house right there at the dump. Highway 11 waste and recycle. to shingles on it. You can date a lot of times, a lot of times you can date houses and construction by the construction materials they've used. I remember seeing those asbestos shingles being put on in the, in the 50s. here on the right. I guess you can still call this a Georgia Backroads Drive. <laughs> oh, look at that oak tree. Man. Old farmhouse.
the squiggly tar lines. You used to build a house right on the main road, you couldn't give it away. Especially as close as some of these are. Now we will first come up on Highway 53. So this would also be a cut through for you on 53 to 53. <coughs> to the Winder Bear County racetrack. Yeah. <laughs> the speedway. I think that's still a dirt track. And like so many of these little southern speedways, little little rural, rural southern speedways, you think you go to see the race, but no no no. You go to see the go you say think you go see the race and you know a fight may break out. Well no no here, you go to see the fight and maybe a race will break out. And some advice for you if you've never been to a dirt track, don't sit in the turn. <laughs> Not unless you like to eat mud. This is Georgia 11 and 211 to the left, Georgia 11 to the right crosses. Did we do that right? Put a water pump, upper and lower radiator hose, and thermostat in this one, and put the dryer and compressor on. But when I got into it, I didn't have to put the water pump on. And the uh, thermostat was stuck open, and the top radiator hose was partially closed. So that solved both problems of not heating up fa fast enough, and then overheating when it did get uh, hot or warm. And then I did put a uh, water pump, both ho radiator hoses and a thermostat in the white Jeep. White Jeep's ready except for uh, got a crack in the windshield. Need a, when a windshield replaced, need a trailer hitch on and wired. And I got a noise in the front end, but I'm going to drive it, whatever. Place the tires on this one. Or 
or I guess a correctly would correctly the correct way to say it would be I'm going to have the tires replaced. I'm not going to replace them. pushing this, that's good. Sort of a surprise, but that's nice. A couple of burrows out there. trees have seen a lot of history. Okay, we're coming up on Georgia 53. To the left is Winder. Take you over to Watkinsville. To the right, we'll take you all the way over into Alabama. In a long arc. We're going to go straight across here. south of 85. We are between Winder and 85 now. Running sort of parallel. Nice little cemetery there on the left. Speed limit's 45, we're running 45. Now we got a bumper truck trying to push us. Not having any part of it. There's a school up here and there's some curves. I'm just not going to go over the speed limit for his uh, comfort. He'll have to enjoy the ride. subdivision out here on the left. 
by here next year. I, you know, we don't, we'll, we'll turn in just to, um, well, no, we won't. They don't have the streets paved. I'll come back and catch this. Next year, it'll probably be filled up. back here behind us must be hard to drive. He's having a hard time keeping it off my bumper. That's an aggressive truck. That's a very aggressive truck he's got. All he can do to keep from pushing me. So I said, you should not be able to, you build a house on the main road, you couldn't give the thing away. Now it doesn't matter where you build a house. <laughs> Boy, have times changed. Okay, coming up on 211 again. We're going to turn right on 211. Uh, Winder is to the left, and they're building a bypass. It's going to come out up there to the left. And here comes that hard... Hard to control the Toyota truck. Man, that thing's a beast. And we've turned north on 211. We're headed towards Chateau Elan at 85. We're going to turn it off right now, pick it up at Chateau Elan. <laughs> 